What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We are back with another seasonal championship and this time we are doing the off track one. Where we need to pick one of the offered cars in the C class. It's the dirt racing championship. <coughs> And I do recommend a dirt tune, but nothing too fancy. Obviously, it's for C-Class, you won't get anything too fancy, but you can always slap on a fancy wing. Or spoiler. And obviously some rims. <coughs> We all like a good rim job, eh? Okay, that one was low. <laughs> anyway, um, we start into race number one. Obviously, an all-wheel drive car is beneficial in a dirt racing event, so that much is for certain. I do not recommend the LP. Unless you do tune it into a wheel drive car. And then it's actually pretty good because it's very light and uh, nimble, but so is basically every other car that you can use here. Well, except the except, uh, Lambo LMO2. Because, well, it's heavy, it's fat, it's, well, I really like it. But I don't recommend it. <laughs> that's that's a difference, <laughs> and a pretty big one as well. I just don't think it's it's necessary for us. I guess it has its applications here and there, but when you can use something like this, especially in that performance class, and do it. Obviously in Japan again, using a Nissan. So we got the full dose of Japanese. And we also get the full dose of this race because we are soon... Well, now we are already in the second half of the race. But as you can see here, it's not really problematic. It's very easy to drive, especially again with the all-wheel drive, you don't have any problems whatsoever because you can just full throttle through these corners or into the corners. Break early and then just hit the pass and you won't get much understeer or oversteer. <coughs> you won't get neither. You'll just be taken straight through. Actually, oversteer is really the problem in these dirt conditions, but you won't really get much at all. So. Not a problem at all. And obviously, like I sometimes say, the lower the performance class, and this one is pretty low, the easier the race. So. Here as well, you can just drive past the first couple of cars and then take the race pretty easy. Didn't even lose position, or we weren't even under threat at the start to lose any position, so there's that. And that completes race number one. I'll put the tune code into the description of the video. Why am I now at 58 areas? I don't know what's up with the game. Oh well, it's broken as always. And that's what's up with it. Nothing new, eh? Nothing new. So we will continue the championship now. <coughs> 
The golf is also a car you can use that really works well in this championship by the way. It has very similar characteristics, especially when you also give it a fairly stable all-wheel drive tune <coughs> with a slight off-road theme and you know, they're very comparable, very comparable cars. Right now we already went past the Alpine, as we have already established it's not very good. Now we nearly, well we did go for the Freilander, but the Mini was in the way, so... Now we go around the outside, and that's also where you notice, okay, you have a low performance class, you can full throttle through a lot of the corners, and the AI still will break. <coughs> Notice it here as well, we could just full throttle through and that's the beauty of the low performance classes here. You can take it to the limits so much easier. So now we dart into there and take the lead. We are surprisingly bad through even the small or the slower sections. You shouldn't have too much trouble. You just need to make sure you're not drifting somewhere or losing control of the car. Obviously, you can drift, that's not the problem, but you should do it under control. You have dirt, you have the rain, so there is technically the possibility that it becomes a little bit dangerous. But outside of that, not a big deal. One thing I can only repeat from previous videos is don't really worry about the racing line too much. It will tell you to brake a lot more than you actually need to. Oh, that could have been a drift tab, right? Oh well, whatever. through here while we had some massive understeer now we didn't get into the corner and now we're actually in somewhat of a race again I don't really expect this guy to be a threat where we made use of the drifting a little bit by adjusting the car to the corner before actually going there so that we land in the right angle and then drift into the right position where we want to go. Here as well you would have to brake so much to meet the racing line requirements but it's just not necessary when you position your car correctly. And here as well you can just full throttle through here as well. I mean this is risky obviously because was cutting into the checkpoint and just flying through it basically. So yeah it is risky but well I guess you can turn on the rewind button and then you can drive a little bit more risky eh? Or you just drive risky anyway like we do but well So that completes race two. Oof. And where's race three? <coughs> where's race three? Ah, I was there it is. 
Looks like a circuit race. Yeah, it is. Not a big fan of those, but... The reward cars as well this season are not really worth playing for unless you don't have them, which... They're pretty common, so you roll when the wheel spins a lot. <coughs> Well, now that you win 1000 in a super wheel spin, but those days might be over of actually winning anything useful. So, yes, I'm still mad about it. I mean, seriously, you get so few super wheel spins, and now you waste your time rolling 1000. I was rolling the two weekly VIP Super Wheel Spin thingies that you get. And the second one at least had like, I think, 15 and 50,000, so that was okay. And some useless clothing. Not that it's worth it, but you know. Or that it's a lot of money, I should say. But, like the first one that I rolled, I had 1,000. 5,000 and some useless clothing. So that was amazing. Alright, now we can close in because the AI has always this terrible into fast corners. Now we break a little later and take these guys apart. We'll just go fast from I should say. We're playing too much God of War. And now we. No, we can't dart in there. We can try it here, yeah, it works. Obviously, since you only need to touch these checkpoint posts, you can throw your car in there and still make the checkpoint, even if you don't technically drive through the checkpoint. So where is that? Still one overtake to go, but we also still have two laps remaining. Get him in lap one anymore. That's highly unlikely. Alrighty. We will now try to close the distance in the upcoming fast corner. Not this one, but the section afterwards. This one is too good for the AI, we're not going to break in here with the right one, the right corner coming up. I expect to close the distance here, yeah, where is we breaking? I was breaking a little bit to not completely crash into him. And now we're on the outside, which is a bit annoying. But now we're on the inside. And that puts us into first. So yeah, that right corner can really serve you as a springboard to get into a competition for the position that you are attacking, so... And obviously this sequence pretty good for you as well. And... Then you probably have to wait until the next lap again, because not much is going to happen anymore. So we have some chance here and there, and then really now... Yeah, I guess you should normally stabilize to the point where... Your time is best spent preparing and attacking the next lap. Hey, he is actually getting close to me. Might have to shut the door then. I don't think he's gonna dart inside. It's not fast enough. Still gonna shut the door here a little bit, break early. <coughs> yeah. That wasn't a particularly good threat. But I still chose the inside line, uh, break a little early so that I can get on the accelerator a little bit faster again. And uh, that pretty much ended even the slightest possibility. Uh, I think he was close enough anyway, but you never know. And we have this corner again, like as you can see. And there is no other car that you threaten to run into, you can just full throttle it. And you also only have to start breaking when you're in the water because the racing line 
predicts your movement without the impact of the water, so it tells you to break a lot earlier when you actually have to. That one was a bit wide. Hey, he's getting closer again. Interesting. Not pulling away the way I thought we would, but it's not really a problem, obviously. And that's a win in race number three. Five minutes. Well, nearly, but still. That's a lot. So, that's six points. And a win. And everything we asked for, really. And another duplicate yeah, car. Yeah. Maybe we want to force more gifts. Maybe people aren't yeah, gifting yeah, enough. Yeah. Oh well. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can do this as well. You will find the tune in the description, if I don't forget it at least. And until next time with the next championship, farewell.